Hello everyone, my name is Brenda, very nice to meet you. I'm a product specialist at Cisco for the collaboration portfolio, so very pleased to help you and do that quick video with my colleague, David. David, can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm David Beasley, I'm one of our technical solutions architects uh, covering the EMEA region. The goal of this video, we hope we're not going to make it longer than three to four minutes, uh, is to show you the power of what we just released it's called Webex Assistant. I said just released, but it's coming uh, during, well, very soon, June, July timeframe. And what is Webex Assistant? It's basically something to simplify your life. Why? It's because most of the time when we do meetings, if it's a physical meeting or online meeting, you usually have a book and a pen and you write down some notes. Why? It's because obviously you want to have some trace and search for it when you go back uh, with your customer, your partner, whoever you are talking with. So today, customer wants to have a simple life. They want to have some meeting transcripts. They want to have some sort of voice control to maybe highlight some key points of that meeting. People want to have better productivity. And obviously, they want to easy search uh, from their notes. So I'm going to show you quickly something. It's what we call the WebEx Assistant. And I'm actually going to turn the WebEx Assistant on. And I'm going to start sharing my meeting window and you should be able to see the transcripts that are appearing. This is live and you will see. Obviously, the transcript live and before I go further, I'm sure David, you would like to summarize what I just said. It's good to switch yeah. the. So, well. sure. So what, what we're trying to achieve here is, is the ability to let people actually be in the meeting and focus on the meeting rather than have to sit there and scribble a whole bunch of notes with a pen, uh, as Brenda said at the beginning. And, and the, the challenge we're solving here is once you start scribbling down notes, you lose focus, you lose concentration on, on what's being said. So then you're, you're not really in the meeting at all. You're, you're more concentrating on the notes. And when you do that, uh, when, when humans scribble down and start writing notes, we, there's about a 20% error rate in what's transcribed. And that's what we've managed to achieve with the WebEx Assistant. So what we're delivering is a, a service, a capability that's equally as good as what you could achieve by writing down notes yourself. And we've taken that further and, and added accountability by having highlights and having actionable insights off the back of this, and also having the ability to do information recall and search for those, some of the keywords or search for a, a phrase that was said. And we'll, we'll demonstrate that as we go through. Perfect. And as you can see here, I have the uh, transcri transcription live. And if I go over, I can, if I wanted to make maybe have maybe a dark background and just click on it to change or maybe switch back to light. I can change the font size, small, medium or big. So this is really a uh, per your decision. What I think we want to do now is uh, I know, David, you will show exactly the details of the caption and highlight, or maybe I will go over it quickly. But um, what we want to do is maybe I think we should schedule a follow up meeting. We can take note now of what we want to do uh, so that later we can decide on what's next. And I hope the decision will be uh, very successful for both parties. Okay, so the decision is that we schedule a follow-up meeting based on the actions that we've taken in this call. Um, and so I'll take a note to assign the follow-up meeting, the scheduling of it to you, so Brenda. Perfect. And maybe before you share your screen so that we show post-recording, maybe I show it myself. Here you see the caption. Um, you see when David talks, when Brenda talks, you can move a caption into a highlight. Uh, if you think it's a very important information and maybe David, you want to cover the highlight because we see different things appearing. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to share my screen very briefly. Perfect. We identified a set of um, trigger words uh, and criteria that we we looked at. And so we said there are action items, there are decisions and there are notes. And so when you use any of the phrases which are underneath uh, any of these headings, it will automatically detect that and add that in as a highlight for the meeting. So if I was to say the say the phrase is next steps or the decision is or take a note, it will add that in as a highlight and call it out as part of the, the meeting transcription. Now, the power isn't in that alone. It, it's looking at that 
that phrase and then tying that in with the phrase that's said around it. So it's actually doing natural language processing on the entire phrase to look at what I've said and is it relevant to the to the trigger words, to the uh, action items that we need to pull out. Uh, and then it does that um, and then so, so uses that information then to highlight and uh, work out what's the the correct thing to do with the information that it's receiving and this is all done and processed in our own data centers we're not sending anything to third party for processing so we have the uh, the security and privacy that that you sign when you uh, when you sign up for webex uh, and then i'm just going to show you uh, how those highlights actually look so if i share my meeting window very briefly so on the right hand side here, you can see that this has all been called out and done automatically. So as Brenda said, I could go come here and I can highlight something if I so wish uh, and say I want to highlight that phrase manually. But automatically it uh, adds these items in here. So you can see I have notes, you can see I have action items and uh, we didn't say any of the decision keywords. But it uh, automatically categorizes what the phrase was and why it was said and then adds it as an action item tells you why that phrase was actually called out. So that's what we're doing in live in the meeting uh, window. And then let me share another window with you. And so this is my uh, space for after the meeting. And what you'll see at the top here is that the search bar looks a little bit different. So you see I can join or search for a meeting, but now I can also um, search for recordings or transcriptions. So if I was to look for any keywords, so things like, oh, excuse me, that's time me out, bear with me two seconds. So if I was to come in here and search for a particular keyword like decision, it's then going to search across all my meetings or any meetings that have been shared with me. So as we're in Brenda's meeting room at the moment, after this meeting, she could share this uh, transcription with me and I'd be able to search on that as well. But now I can come back into the meeting. I've, I've searched the keyword decision. So if I hit enter there, it pulls up any time in any of my meetings that the word decision has been said and it shows you uh, what the what the context was around it. And I can very quickly go back to that, press the play button. And it's then going to play uh, that particular piece of uh, content. The decision the is the team will go out on Tuesday evening to a restaurant for dinner. So I get the context around where that was said in the meeting uh, and what the uh, what was what was said around it and what the keywords were. So I can go back and very quickly ascertain why something was said or how a decision was come to. And that was the that's the um, that's the uh, the information uh, recall that I was discussing at the beginning. Brenda, back to you. Amazing. Can you share again your screen so that maybe it's easy? Uh, well, actually, uh, just a question, which I know the answer, but it's a demo. Uh, can you share some highlights to other people? If you go back to the transcripts, is it possible to share this so that people get access to it? Yeah, so post the meeting, the transcripts will all appear in my meeting window. Uh, and I'm just going to clear this search. And then uh, you can see I have the transcript and recording and I have the option to share this here. So I can come here and I can put email addresses in uh, and I, all people that are in my own, uh, own, own index and share with them uh, directly. Uh, and very shortly, we'll be able to share that with uh, straight, straight into a WebEx team space as well. So there's, there's lots happening in that space. Perfect. Amazing. I think this is... Uh little over four minutes, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, WebEx Assistant, please reach out to your current team and we'll be happy uh, to help you, uh, Devin and I. Uh, we wish you uh, to be safe and uh, good luck working from home. And um, yeah, hope uh, to help you very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, David. Thanks, guys. Bye.